Hello again. I'm Dr. George Taylor, one of the physician scientists at Celeste Regenerative Therapeutics in California. We're the makers of Antiage Cosmeceutical skincare products. And today we're going to talk about inflammation and the role that inflammation plays in the aging of skin. Um, I invite you to go to Bareface Truth. Uh, that's where I hold forth as Dr. George, my partner holds forth as Dr. John, and we talk about a lot of the things we're going to discuss today. Uh, and you'll find it very entertaining. It's got a lot of content and I think you'll like our, our writing style. Uh, inflammation is not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. In fact, uh, it wasn't so long ago on the cover of Time Magazine, inflammation was called uh, the silent killer. And there's a reason for that. Science now knows that basically each and every disease of advanced age has an inflammatory component. You can start from the arthritis to cardiovascular disease of all sorts, uh, to, to bowel disease. Um, basically every organ system has an inflammatory component and the skin is no different. In fact, when you, when you think about the things that age the skin, the sun, smoking, uh, environmental toxins, trauma, etc. It's, it's the result of inflammation that really takes its toll over time. Inflammation and something called reactive oxygen species are, are closely uh, aligned with one another and over the time they damage the different uh, types of um, tissues, uh, cell membranes, etc. Take a look at this slide that has the phases and sequences of skin healing. You'll, you'll notice it's set up in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, because that's how long it takes for a, a, a wound to, to heal entirely. I want to focus on the left-hand side of that in the first few minutes and then the first few days. Um, as you know, uh, whether I go in and have a surgical operation with sterile instruments or I get bit by a dog, I'm going to have an inflammatory phase built into that healing process. We all do. It's just the way we're made. And as I said before, it played a role when we had the op uh, opportunity to have all kinds of pathogens introduced to us through all kinds of trauma. But the truth of the matter is, bleeding has to stop no matter what the injury is, and platelets have that responsibility. They play a major role in, in stopping the bleeding that occurs with an injury. That's a two-edged sword. Platelets are filled with some nice beneficial growth factors, but they're also chock full of pro-inflammatory cytokines, some of the most powerful pro-inflammatory cytokines there are. And so at the price of getting better and healing, you got to go through this inflammatory phase. Well, inflammation is not good. Inflammation has uh, takes its toll. We've already talked about the systemic effects. On the skin, it can be even worse. Chronic inflammation can lead to fibrosis, scarring, uh, hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation, um, and so it's not a good thing. In fact, if you do anything to your skin on a chronic basis, you want to settle inflammation down. Because remember, we've talked in, a, in another segment about the fact that we lose that ability because of our, our fewer number of, uh, of certain stem cells that we've discussed. What we want to do is get back to the example of fetal healing. When we're in utero, when we're in our mother's womb for the first two-thirds of our, of our existence, uh, you can operate on the skin of a baby uh, in utero, and if you get it there early enough, there's no scar. They're born with no scar. The difference between fetal healing and, and adult healing has everything to do with inflammation. That little fetus has little or no inflammation phase whatsoever. And it has a very, very powerful uh, anti-inflammatory cytokine in abundance. It's called TGF-beta-3. That is a real key. Um, in fact, we, we use that cytokine in some of our products just because it's really good at shutting down inflammation. Uh, you'll see a picture of me. I was patient number one when we first developed our product, and I'd had, what, 25 years of fighting flare-ups of, of, of a rosacea condition, and I'm not saying this product is for rosacea. I want to make that clear. I'm not making a claim. I'm saying for my personal uh, experience, it totally resolved that issue. I don't have to take Metrogel, I don't have to use steroids, I don't have to uh, uh, take my doxycycline every day. I just haven't had a flare up in over three years. Uh, you'll see another picture of a woman who went on the product for a month and you can notice that the redness in her face is markedly reduced. Um, and finally, uh, a picture of the cheeks of a gal from India 
Uh, she was 29 at the time she sent these pictures to us and she had been using our Antiage product for eight weeks and, and did a couple derma rollings with a, with a 0.25 millimeter derma roll. And she had a condition called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And, and that just means that her melanocytes go into overdrive and every time she gets a pimple or a scratch or a burn, she ends up with a dark spot. Uh, very, very problematic for people with darker skin types. And it's been one of the things that we found uh, our products are most beneficial in, in uh, is helping control the inflammation. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again.